He Paul kept going forward. He kept going forward no matter what. And guess what? God connected him with another cool brother, amen, yeah. by the name of Silas. Can yeah. I get an amen? <laughs> it doesn't matter who left you. God will bring your Silas into your life. Can I get an amen? And Silas was radical, amen, because Silas was on the same page with Paul. He says, I don't care what they do to us. I don't care if they rip my fly garment, my, my fly shirt, amen. I'm still going to praise God with you, Paul. Amen. Amen. And here, Paul, he's, he's, he's going through all kinds of trials and tribulations, amen? And all of a sudden, God brings him a good brother, Silas, and they're both serving God together, amen? Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah. See, I believe this is a word for somebody that God has given you a great purpose. Thank you, Lord. This is a message for somebody that has a purpose from God. Amen. That has a calling from God. That's right. Thank you, Lord. This is a message for somebody that is anointed. Come on. Thank you, Lord. That has a destiny from God. Preach. Come on. That's right. And when you're serving God, sometimes we're going to go through trials. That's right. Sometimes we're going to go through some hard times. All right. Come on. And here Paul was a man full of purpose. Yes. Here was a man that was called by God himself. Yes. Here was a man where Jesus actually came from heaven yes. and spoke to Paul. Amen. And called Paul to be part of the apostles. Can I get an amen? amen. And Paul was doing good. All of a sudden, he recruited a new disciple, and all of a sudden, he ends up in prison. Yeah. He ends up in chains. So you got to understand that sometimes God will trust you with persecution. Thank you, God will trust you with problems. Yeah. God will trust you with the battle. Yeah. God will trust you with conflict. God will trust you with depression. Amen. And here Paul was in chains. He was shackled up. Amen. He got beat up. Amen. But he kept on trusting God. See, we got to understand that, you know what? Sometimes we're going to get depressed. Come on. Sometimes we're going to get discouraged. And when you get depressed, when, you, when the devil attacks you, when the devil hits you, Amen. That's right. You got to understand that you're not getting attacked because God has forgotten you. You're not getting attacked because God has turned his back on you. Right. You're getting attacked. Amen. Because God has a plan for you to overcome. Right. He has a plan for you to break through. He has a plan. He has a plan for you to overcome. Amen. He has a plan for you to do great things That's for right. him. That's right. You see, what happens is that many times we get hit with depression. Yes. We get hit with sickness. Amen. Yes. You, we get hit with discouragement. You might, you might have caught the cold out there and you're sick and you feel that you're, not, you're never going to get out of that sickness. Maybe yes. you caught COVID. Amen. And you might feel that you're never going to get out of it. But I want to let you know that it's only a test. Amen. Yes. See, God sees that you've been doing good. He sees that you've been overcoming. Amen. And he brought, he brought somebody into your life. He brought a silence into your life. Amen. Because no matter what you're going through, God is going to give you the understanding and the anointing to praise yourself out of that persecution to praise yourself out of the, that problem to praise yourself out of that trouble can i get an amen thank you lord come on thank you lord preach hallelujah see we need to know that god will allow us to get persecuted thank you jesus the Bible says that Paul and Silas were shackled up in chains. Yes. That the enemy put them in chains. Amen. Yes. They were in darkness. They were in prison. Yes. And there's many of you that are watching right now that you might feel that, you know what? You find yourself in a place of darkness. Yes. 
a place of bondage. It could even be sin. Amen. And God is allowing that to happen because he's going to show you that he that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. See, God anointed Apostle Paul to trust him. He, anoint, he anointed Apostle Paul to break through. Yes. And I want to encourage you tonight, amen, is that no matter what you're going through, all you need to do is praise the Lord. Because I believe that as we praise God, just like Paul and Silas, amen, the Bible says as they began to pray and praise God, they began to talk to the Lord, amen, they began to have the right attitude, the word of God says that every chain was broken, amen, and they got so radical praising the Lord that not just their chains broke, but everyone else that heard them, their chains broke, amen, and the word of God says every door was open in the prison, I want to encourage you today, amen, is that God is going to give you a break through amen as we turn our problems into praise amen as we turn our sorrow into worship our worry into worship as we get radical and we trust in god god is about to break every chain that is holding you and holding you down god is going to turn it around thank you lord i said god is going to turn it around that's right so we serve a good God. God has given us spiritual weapons. Amen. Yes. We got to understand there is power in having the right attitude. Let me say the right attitude. Right attitude. Matter of fact, let's, this is like a Bible study. Let's go ahead and go to the book of Genesis. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The book of Genesis. Chapter four. Verse 6. <clears throat> the word of God says, Then the Lord said to Cain, Why are you angry? Let me ask you, church. Why are you angry? Don't answer me. <laughs> why are you angry? Why are you really angry? Why are you really upset? And why is your face gloomy? I'm reading out of the New American St the New American Standard Version. If you do well, will your face not be cheerful? And if you do not do well, sin is lurking at the door. And its desire is for you. In the King James Version it says, And his desire is for you. What was that talking about? Thank you. That was talking about the desire of the devil. See, the Bible says not to give the devil our territory, not to be angry. Okay, I'm summarizing that. I, I, I didn't say that scripture correctly the way it is, but... It says, don't be angry. Don't give the enemy your territory. Can you find that scripture for me? It's in the book of Ephesians. Not to give the enemy your territory. So that tells me when we are angry, listen, listen to this, is that the enemy could put his desires in us. Amen? Amen. Verse 7, if you do well, your face, your face, will your face not be cheerful? So God expected Cain to have the right attitude. That's important. Amen. As, as a believer, as a Christian, we are to have the right attitude. What does it say? It says Ephesians 4, 26, be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your wrath nor give place to the devil. Amen. So it tells us clearly, don't give place to the enemy. That word place in the Greek means territory. 
So when we don't take control of our anger, you know what happens? Is that we give the enemy her territory. Amen? So it's important that we have the right attitude. Say the right attitude. The right attitude. Then it says, if you if if you do not do well, sin is lurking at the door, and its desire is for you, but you must master it. And here God was teaching Cain is that you need to have the right attitude. Because that word, if you do well, means to go up in the rank. And many times God is just testing us. If somebody rubs you the wrong way, oh, yeah. if something happens, God is testing you mm -hmm. to see if you have the right attitude. Even though you give your enemy the advantage, amen? Mm -hmm. Even though you say, okay, I'm gonna trust you, God, and let this person cut me off, let this person take advantage of me or whatever, you know, of course, you know, um, not letting anyone hurt you, you know, but I'm just saying like if something happens and you say, God, I'm going to trust you. I'm not going to retaliate. Amen. And you have the right attitude. God sees that. And what God does is he takes you to the next level. Can I get an amen? amen? Because we serve a God that puts us through the test. He puts us through the test to see if we're going to make the right choice. If we're going to do the right thing. Can I get an amen? amen? See, we must have the right attitude. And when we have the right attitude... He will take us to a higher altitude. When we have the right attitude, he will take us to a higher altitude. The word of God says in the book of Psalms that if we delight in the Lord, he will give us the desires of our heart. See the difference? If you're angry, the devil will give you the desires of his heart. But when we delight in the Lord, he gives us the desires of our heart. That we are to have a good attitude no matter what we go through. Amen. Because God will begin to speak to us. You know, like I said, you know, you know, I, I, I shared this testimony before. I remember, um, you know, I needed the car. You know, me and my wife, we share a, a car. And all of a sudden, I, I got up and the car was missing. Amen. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. And I was... I had a choice to either get upset or to utilize my time. So I said, you know what? Instead of getting upset, I'm going to utilize my time. And it gave me an opportunity to clean to clean up the house. You know, I started cleaning up the house, washing the dishes. And you know what, you know what began to happen? God began to speak to me. He began to speak to me. Matter of fact, he started speaking to me and he gave me this revelation about Cain and Abel. Hmm. And this is this is a revelation. Can I get an amen? Because I never heard it like this. Amen. But we understand that, that, you know, we must delight in the Lord. And I was delighting in the Lord. I was trusting God. And what he was doing is that he started speaking to me. He started putting his desires in my heart. Amen. And it's a beautiful thing when God speaks into your life. Amen. Amen. And that takes discipline. See, discipline. discipline. That takes discipline to recognize that God's getting ready to put you through a test. Yes. Amen. It's like it's like fighting. Amen. God teaches us to put on the full armor of God. In other words, to be ready for the enemy because the enemy is going to be throwing fiery darts at you. Yeah. Amen. amen. And every time I've sparred, amen, to become a, a, a better fighter or just to be safe in the ring... I have to time the other fighter and I have to watch him because I know he's going to try to hit me, but I got to be ready to move away from the punch. Mm -hmm. Amen. And now that I'm not just like a little young buck, amen, you know, I'm, I'm very careful that I don't get hit. Amen. Doesn't mean that I don't get hit, but I got to be ready to move away from the punch or slip the punch. Amen. amen. So the thing is, is that, is that. God wants us to be prepared and ready when the enemy tries to attack us. To understand that this, the devil is going to hit us, but we could actually slip that punch. We could actually move away from that arrow. We could shield it 
with the word of God. Amen. God is equipping us and teaching us, amen, to trust him and to delight in him and to believe him. Amen. And that's what Paul and Silas did. Amen. Paul and Silas, they trusted God no matter what they went through. Amen. And they began to praise the Lord. Amen. I want to encourage us tonight. There's going to be power in your praise. No matter what you're going through tonight, you could be sick. Amen. You could have got attacked. Amen. Someone could have uh, wrongfully attacked you. Amen. They could have robbed your shirt, your clothes. Amen. They could have done damage to you. They could have hurt you. Amen. But I want to encourage you tonight to trust the Lord and to praise God because as we praise the Lord, amen, God is going to break every chain off your life. So I want to encourage you tonight that depression is going to leave you. That discouragement is going to leave you. That sickness is going to leave you. Amen. That attack is going to leave you. God is about to turn it around for your favor. Amen. That fear is about to leave you. Amen. Because you are a child of God and you have a purpose. Amen. God never stopped working in your life. God is just developing you. God is just building you up. God is teaching you how to trust him and to know that he's going to turn it around for you tonight. He's going to do it tonight. Amen. He's going to do it tonight. He's going to break those doors. He's going he's gonna to break open those doors. He's going to break those chains. He's going to give you favor, amen. There's going to be so much favor in your life that those people that try to hurt you are going to come to you and say, how can I be saved? Can I get an amen? How can I get some of that Jesus? Amen. Could you pray for me? There's something different about you. So we must be a people that know how to praise God. This, this is what I'm sharing to you today. I'm going to close in a little bit. Is that God is giving us insight. God is giving us revelation. God is teaching us how to fight in the spirit. Amen. God is teaching us the schemes of the devil and how to overcome the schemes of the devil. Amen. And how do we do that? Is that we walk with that insight and we watch amen we watch and we understand that the devil is going to try to come in and attack us amen we got to understand that god is going to allow us to go through the fire god is going to allow us to go through the test because he trusts us that we're going to praise him he trusts us that we're going to believe in him because god has a purpose for you Amen. And no matter what you're going through, I want to remind you that the devil is a liar. Amen. You are going to overcome. You're going to transcend. And let me just give a prophetic word to you. You're not going to die because of your old age. You're not going to die. You're not going to die because of your sickness. Amen. You're not going to die until God calls you up. Amen. God has a purpose for you. Amen. God has a plan for you. He's called you to praise him. He's called you to pray. He's called you to preach his word. Amen. And you're not going to perish. And you're not going to die because of the attacks of the enemy. Hallelujah. You will not die, but you will live and declare the glory of God. Hallelujah. The day that you go is because God calls you up. Can I get an amen? Amen. We got to understand that God has the power to preserve us. God has the power to keep us. God has the power to renew our youth as the eagles. Amen. God has the power to stop your aging. Amen. God has the power to quicken you. What that means is that no matter how sick, how old we feel, how discouraged we feel. Amen. When God quickens you, everything in you is going to come alive. Can I get an amen? That's what we got to keep believing God. We got to keep praising God. No matter what is holding us down. No matter what's coming against us. Amen. We got to keep on praising God. Because we are a people of purpose. You are a people of purpose. Amen. And God is calling you. Amen. To make a difference. As a matter of fact. I want to encourage you tonight. Though 
those chains are falling off right now. Every chain is breaking, amen. Every chain of depression, every chain of discouragement, every chain of doubt, amen. Every chain of sin in your life is breaking because God is setting you free because he has a plan for you to praise him to preach, to pray to serve the Lord, amen and no weapon formed against you shall prosper in the name of Jesus, can I get an amen you are the head and not the tail, you are above and not beneath, amen you are walking in the supernatural power of God God is quickening your physical body amen you're gonna do great exploits and great things amen you are in the house of God you are walking in the light of God that is the fire of God which is the word of God and because you're walking in the light of God first John says that he cleanses you of all your sin you need to know that yes you are guilty but you are forgiven amen God has forgiven you. He has washed you with his blood. Amen. Because he has a purpose for you to glorify him. Amen. We're not just going to sing hymns. We're going to praise him. We're going to boast in him. We're going to talk about how good he is. The word of God says that we overcame him by the blood of the lamb and the word of the te of our testimony. It says that in Revelations chapter 12 is that we overcame the devil by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. Amen. That means that Jesus already did the work. Amen. You are not righteous because of your good works. Amen. Because the word of God says that our righteousness is as dirty rags. Amen. And, and you guys know what that means. Amen. That our righteousness is as dirty rags. So it's not talking about our righteousness. It's talking about the justification of Jesus Christ. That he has took in our sin and we have took in his righteousness. Can I get an amen? amen. And the word of God says that it's through the blood of the lamb. It is through the Passover. But it says that we overcame him by the word of our testimony. You know what that means? Is that you must confess. You must confess that you're delivered. You must confess that you are saved by the blood of Jesus. You must speak it out in your mouth and say, I am forgiven by the blood of Jesus. My house is protected by the Passover, by the blood of Jesus. Amen. That I am washed and clean by the blood of Jesus. We must confess it with our mouth because that is our testimony. And when we confess, Confess it with our mouth by faith. The devil is defeated. Can I get an amen? amen. This is what I'm saying, church. Is that we need to learn how to praise God. Amen. We got to learn how to speak it out. It doesn't matter who's listening to you. Speak it out. Praise God. Because as you praise God in public, those people are going to get free. Your chains are going to fall off. But listen to this. Their chains are going to fall off. Can I get an amen? See, there is power in your praise. Amen. So I don't know if you guys have, have been through spiritual warfare. I'm pretty sure we all have words. You know, we're out here in San Bernardino. Amen. Amen. But the devil don't leave until you say the name of Jesus. Amen. When you get attacked, amen, you're asleep. Because I know the enemy, he preys upon the weak. Yes. He waits until you're the weakest. Yes. He waits until you're the most tired. Amen. He waits until you're the most sickest. Yes. And he comes in and he attacks. Yes. Yeah. But as soon as you come to conscience and you say, Jesus! Ooh. Can I get an Ooh. amen? Oh. That devil needs to flee. Can I get an amen? Oh. You need to know that God has put power in your mouth. Oh. He has put power in your confession. The word of God says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. So we're going to practice right now. We're going to praise God right now. Okay. And this is something I want you to adopt. I want you to adopt this. That when you're at home, no matter what you're going through, no matter how depressed you feel, you need to speak out that you are delivered through the name of Jesus. Everyone say, I am, I am set, free set free through the name of Jesus. Through the, name of Jesus. Through the power of Jesus. Everybody say, 
I am forgiven. I am forgiven of all of my sins. All of my sins. From my past. From, my past, from, from, today, from today. From last week. From, last week, from my whole life. I am forgiven of all of my sin through the blood of Jesus. He is my high priest. He is my high priest. He is the Passover. And he has cleaned me. He has cleansed me of all my sin. Say in the name of Jesus, every chain has been broken off my life off my family's life I am free and I am free indeed through the blood of Jesus everybody say through the blood of Jesus I have victory over the devil and over all his demons in the name of Jesus I am redeemed I am saved my name is written in the book of life and I'm going to heaven. I'm not dying anytime soon. Matter of fact, I want you to say this. Through the blood of Jesus. And through the flesh of Jesus. I'm never going to die. I'm going to live forever. I'm going to live forever. I am saved. And I have a work to do. And I'm going to continue to serve God. Because his blood continues to clean me and continues to keep me. Everyone shout, I have the victory through Christ Jesus. This is my confession. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Can I get an amen? I said amen. Praise the Lord. See, this is something we must practice. Can I get an amen? Yeah, yeah. Is that we must confess. We yeah. must share the testimony that we've been redeemed yeah. by the blood of Jesus. Yeah. And as we begin to practice this, we're going to see the hand of God move yeah. in our life. Can I get an amen? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. God is going to move in a supernatural way. You know, with everyone standing, thank you, Lord. Let's just call out to God. Amen. Come on, begin to confess you have the victory. Speak it out, amen? Let the devil know you have victory over him. Let him know you're going to break out of that prison. You're going to break out of that addiction, amen? Every chain is broken, amen? Come on, that sickness is not going to overcome you, amen? That sickness is not going to kill you, amen? It's just going to develop you. God is just giving you immunity. God is just strengthening your physical body, amen? You're going to make it through this. You're going to survive, amen? Because the hand of God is upon you, amen? I decree you shall live and you shall not die and you shall declare the glory of God, amen? God is vitalizing you, amen? He's quickening you. That word quicken means to make alive. He's making you 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 alive in the name of Jesus. Just receive it. Come on, speak over yourself. Say, I shall live. I shall live and not die. I will accomplish all of my purpose, I will accomplish my God-given destiny in Jesus' name. Come on, you just get into your personal worship right now. Come on, keep praising God. Oh, we praise you. 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 I just want to open up this outro. If you want to come up.